Hey guys, what's going on? Rob from ClicksGeek. And today's video is a quick update, 2022 update. It's uh, all about setting up your contact uh, form tracking. It's a little bit different now for some accounts. This isn't for every account. It's only for a few new accounts I've seen this on. It's just giving you a different option to set up your conversion tracking a little bit easier. Um, instead of doing the uh, global site tag and the event snippet tag, it's letting you choose a thank you page and just putting on the global site tag on, on the thank you page and the main website and it's tracking it for you as a lead. So there's an option there to do that and I'm gonna kind of walk you through that today. So again, today is February 15th, 2022. This update rolled out probably a few months ago. I started noticing it, but I thought I should update everyone. And um, if you're watching this in our course, I'll update. I'm gonna update more in detail um, in the future of all the changes and stuff that's coming with us. So right now, let's just get right into it. I'll walk you through it. You're gonna go into your conversions in your Google Ads account. You're gonna do new conversion action. We're gonna do website. Right, so it's gonna ask us for a domain to scan. We have our website. So Google's doing its thing and it's scanning the website. So take a minute, right? So here's, this looks a little different, right? So it's asking you to add a load, a page load as a conversion action. So for the contact form, we'll do this. URL starts with, URL is, contains, um, doesn't, I use URL contains. You wanna put your thank you page here, okay? What you're gonna do, you're gonna add that. You're gonna come back down here, save and continue. I'll get into this later. And all you're gonna do is take your global site tag and you're gonna paste this on the main website slash landing page, whatever you're using, and the thank you page, okay? You're gonna hit done and you've created a conversion action. Pretty cool. All right, so let's go back in again. We'll do it one more time. All right, so now let's say you don't wanna do it this way. You wanna do it the old way. That's easy, you come down here, add conversion action manually, right? It's gonna do it the old fashioned way here. Contact, form, lead, and I'll just name this one new or whatever. Um, assign your value if you want. I always make it fire as one. Click through window 30. 30 looks good. Last click. Hit done. That's going to redirect you to. Oh, not going to redirect. It's going to go save and continue. And here's where we're going to have our our stuff going on. So we're going to take our global site tag again, and we're going to put it on the landing page slash website and the thank you page. And then we're going to take the event snippet tag, and we're going to take that. And we're also going to put this on um, the thank you page, thank you page only, right? So the global site tag goes in the head tag of the landing page or um, website and thank you page goes in the head tag in there. And then the event snippet code goes right below the global site tag on the thank you page only. Really important. It only goes on the thank you page. So you copy that, install it, this and that, and we're done. So that's it. That's the... Uh, thing you might be seeing here it's it's not like i said it's not on every account it's uh it's only been rolled out to a few different accounts so just keep an eye out for that and um if you have any questions you know obviously you can uh, drop those in the comment section below this video and um, if you're watching this in the course i am going to make a few more videos on this it's a little more detailed but for the most part this is all you really need to watch to set up your uh, contact form conversion tracking if you're seeing this in this new style in your account all right, guys, I will talk to you in the next video.